Hi, this is James Scott with Board in the Bayou. In this episode, I'm going to be unboxing the What Goes Up Must Come Down expansion for the Seventh Continent board game. I kickstarted this one. Part of the Kickstarter is the second edition upgrade pack, which will have explaining what comes in here. Some new dividers. I will be trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible, but yet still trying to show where everything we, we get. So apparently these are corrected cards and upgraded cards from the first edition. Which is a, that's a great to see. So, I guess what everybody's really looking forward to seeing. What's in the big, beautiful white box? Got a metallic finish on it. The back is just plain. I'm not going to bother flipping it over. Thank you from the uh, designer. Well, thank you. Note. Additional rules. New card stocks. How to put the air balloon together. How the barge moves. Some of the icons. Let's see, we got the punch outs for the air balloon. Pretty nice cardboard. Definitely good high quality there. And punch out of the miniatures. Let's kinda, I should say the characters. Another action deck holder. Ooh, I like that blue and white look. Put that together. Let's see what we get in here. That must be the the gondola for the hot air balloon, and then the what they call a barge. Pretty nice. It's like a slab with like uh, vines growing on it. I think some people uh, really make that look nice. Pretty little gondola. Okay, so that, that must fit with these pieces, must lock in with this. And then there's our, our journal. This uh, uh, vinyl pleather uh, elastic that keeps it closed. That's nice. And there's your journal to hold your <coughs> very special cards. Some of the dividers. Oh, apparently they added new uh, 11 and a 12 exploration area. So for the 800 and some crystal. What's all what those going to be? And then I guess some uh, plastic stands for your cutouts. So 
large plastic stand. That's supposed to be for the balloon. Wow. These are small. I forget sometimes how small the miniatures are in this game. Focus is so small. Give an idea. I mean, that's my thumb. My thumbnail is bigger than that goat. So those are the three new characters and the goat. <clears throat> now we'll try. Not open all of these, but we'll open a few of them up. Uh, if for some reason I do anything too majorly spoily, I'll make sure I cut it out. Much more blue cards. The new characters. The new curses. Characters themselves, let's see in this one. Watch more exploration cards. I'll look on the back, see. It's a large stack of those. Wow, even That's gonna add, definitely add a lot of variety to the game. It's a, it's a lot of new one. Uh, of course, these are all, these are on this one's all 11s and 12s, so that's much for all for the new area. Let's go from this now and see if the character. Oh, hey, one of these actually. Uh, I find these little string things don't work half the time. Alright, so these are the high 800s, 900s. Well, I have some special cards. A 999. Ooh, that's what. No, I'm not going to cheat. Alright, so our new characters. Thelius Fogg and Jean Passenparter? <laughs> oh, Jean, that's obviously Jean. I know somebody's going to be screaming at the camera how bad I butchered it. Focus a little better. There we go. Amelia Earhart. So, clues for your curses and for the variant there is a traitor among us really been kind of curious on how they're going to implement having a traitor and the rest is just a uh, a 
bunch of new green card, green and gold cards. Let's go ahead and ooh. Just swear they're sealing these things to make sure nobody stole anything out of them. One of ones. That's gonna be a lot of time uh, putting these new cards in. Ooh, some 350s. Those are generally items. Alright. Yeah. And a slot for your, your miniatures just like last time. And space for three different rows. So it looks like they got enough for if you sleeve everything. If you happen to be the one that got all the sleeves and want to sleeve all these thousands of cards, there should be plenty of enough room to have everything sleeved. I guess your log book will sit on top and you have a gondola and your barge. So it's been James Scott with Born in the Bayou. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe below. Thank you.